What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello fellow GPs, this is Catching Fire 3 with some Hat in Time, I think. It should be Hat in Time at least. Why does this sound like Mario? Wait a second, is this Mario for the PC? I think it might be. This is Super Mario Odyssey, six, uh, Super Mario, ha no, Super Hat in Time Odyssey 64 is what I'm going to call it. Because there is, I, I decided to be the hat in time kid. And I don't take damage and I've been playing this quite a bit. Oh, shit. There is a way to actually s skip Lakitu, but I forgot to do it because I was talking. All you do is this, basically, and then you and then you skip it. It's very easy, but I couldn't show it off. But this is how I play Mario 64 every day. Or whenever I do play it, at least. And now I need to plug in my computer. Okay. This is usually how I play it, and it gets me all the stars, so... It, it doesn't really matter, does it? But of course, with Super Mario for the PC, um, Super Mario 64 for the PC, you can, uh, change how you look and whatnot, what, what you can do, but, of course, I do have Cappy, but I made it, so you don't capture, so the game is a lot easier. And you can kill all the Goombas and Koopas really quickly. Get back here. No. No, get out. Get out of there. S see what I mean? You can kill them super easily. No, uh, no retaliation whatsoever. But, uh, it is really fun to play this. I think I have the infinite lives cheat and invincibility cheat I mean mm, I I think that I'm just really good at this game because I mean this game is like super easy um, that was a glitch in the game it shows that one it's a special glitch, uh, glitch called no damage and it negates all damage whatsoever so don't look into it but here's the first start as always I always go for this one but I wasn't thinking about going for that one as you guys probably know uh, from my Mario playthrough and I haven't gotten all the coins in well I didn't get all the coins in my Mario playthrough or Mario after party playthrough but this is different. This is Super Hat in Time Odyssey 64. Um, made by a bunch of great people. Uh, I can link down in the description where to get this, but I can't link the ROM. Apparently, because it's illegal. Uh, but, this game, being as fun as it is, comes with its setbacks. Like, not knowing where to go if you haven't played it before, but that's like the only setback, really. <laughs> um, but what's fun is you can. Yeah, no, no, um, cut. <laughs> what's really cool is you can roll up slides and, uh, and you can get that very well way easier than you could before and it's easier uh, oh yeah you also get the enhanced stuff you know like what they show you in um the Mario 64 when it was first really, well first an ad you can actually control it for much longer, the um, wing cap for much longer, 
Although, I didn't get the wind cap yet because I just started, really. Um, well, at least for this video I did. But, with this, it's so much... Well, okay, I won't say it's so much easier. As you can see, there is a chance of you falling. But it is a slim chance if you're good at it. Oh yeah, and um, I have infinite cappy jumps. Oh, this one, this is super hard though. Every time I do it, I always, oh wait, maybe not. Oh, I didn't have to do it that time. Usually I have to like bounce back and for forth. Shoot. Luckily I can save myself that way. Oh, I don't want, I want to get this star first before I get the red coin star. Got, it got two stars in a row, and as you can see, just like Mario Odyssey, you can continue on with the stars, but it will kick you out when you get all the stars, which is very handy, but there is also an exit to main menu and exit level option, but I won't be needing that because I am so good at the game that I can't even die. Well, I can if I fall into a pit, but there's like this glitch that I told you about. You know, the, um, it negates damage, really. I can't remember what I called it or what it is called, um, but it negates damage and nothing you do can stop it, really. So the only way you can possibly die is by falling out of the world. Uh, this is not scripted. Actually, you know what? Cut that out. And because I don't capture, I turn off capturing, this bus is going to be easy. Watch. Watch. See? Oh, uh, um, cut, cut, cut. This boss fight is going to be so easy. See? All because I turned off capturing. One, two, and the last one, three. See, that was super easy. And you do see the flagpole there. It's because Koopa the Quick is here, but the pole doesn't do much. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I shouldn't have done that. That's what happens when you beat the boss on this uh, for uh, some reason. But to negate that, all you do is just go small, like the camera that's right up against you. I've come to find out, at least. And you can't fix it either unless you just start the level over, but it'll do it again, eventually. I just need ten more coins, ten more coins. Okay. Oh! There we go. That's five coins, five more coins. One, two. Wait, was there five more coins? I thought there was five more coins. There was only four. Okay, whatever. And now to show you how easy Koopa the Quick is. Check this out. Okay, give him a little head start. Okay, I think that's enough of a head start. Just keep bouncing with the infinite cappy jumps. And you should be there. This way, this is a camera angle that happens. It just happens after the boss fight. But now at least you can see Koopa the Quick. Until he be goes behind the mountain. Hello, Koopa the Quick. There he is. Sometimes it, it, it just glitches, okay? This, like a, wait, I didn't say that yet. Um, it is kind of glitchy. And the one way, like I said, to fix it. Wait, do I? Okay. The one way to fix it is to go into uh, the close-up camera. This happens with every boss battle except for Bowser. 
I think if I remember correctly. But I do know King Thwomp it happens to as well. So now I got all those uh, stars. And now, how many stars do I have now? I have seven stars. So now I can really go anywhere I want. And this is so much easier too. I'm not sure how well it works in normal Mario playthrough, but I know to speed run it, you have to like bounce yourself backwards and jump. But uh, I haven't played it with normal Mario 64, but yeah. Easy peasy. And it doesn't kick you out after the one star like it used to. Um, so now I get both stars at once. Which makes it so much better than the actual Super Mario 64. So next level. King Thwomp, let's go. Well, we can do a lot more before King Thwomp. Like the 100 coin star, for instance. But you get the idea of that. Uh, maybe I should do that one last. Yeah, I'll do that one last for video sake. Oh, yeah. In for shoot into the wild blue. Screw this ba bomb. Check this out. Done. Didn't need to. Do a speed running strat, didn't need to uh, use the cannon. That's the first star, even though isn't that usually my first star? I don't remember. But we need to get these blue coins and need to grab this box. Need to break the box. And normally I just go with the flow, you know. But, uh, that one I just wanted to show off. Oh, this red coin tried to get away from me. I've never tried that before, actually. So that was a... Uh, oh, God. It's kind of hard when you don't... But that's just normal. That's normal, though. If you don't uh, line up perfectly on top of the middle of the... Wait, Womp? I think those things are called. They don't really sh do what Super Mario Six, uh, Super Mario Sixty Four, Super Mario World does, and shows all the bad guys at the end. Oh, I almost. Wait, I wonder. Because you can all oh, shoot. You can also, dang it. You can also. Sp Spin. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. There we go. You can spin your cap around you. But you gotta be careful which version you use because some versions just are shit compared to this version. This, this version is nightly. Which has been getting more updates than what I've been using before for some reason I don't know okay no dang it and s since the ba bomb is right here already we can get a uh, blast through the wall or whatever it's called that star the star where you shoot the cannon into the wall it's super easy to get it because you can infinite cap jump. Cut, cut. Okay, so this one's very easy because you can infinite cap jump up to it. And then you can cap jump over to here. Oh, I usually never get the coins from these guys. Now that I think about it. Because I usually don't go for the 100 coin stars until I found this. Oh, you know why I usually skip those guys? Because I just go up here. 
Fuck. Uh, cut. So what I usually do is I go up here. Yeah, see? Oh, there's the 100 coins. Sorry, I was like, is that already the eight coins? Uh, eight red coins? It wasn't, but... Oh, there's the other one that I was missing. So now I have that one. Um, it's supposed to make it easier, but apparently it didn't want to be easier this time. Oh, I thought I got trapped under there. Damn it. I don't want to fight him yet. Because that would just be ridiculous, because as I said, the camera zooms out uh, very far, and you need to negate it like this to be able to go up the tower. And even then, it is fairly hard. Now, let's try to get up there. You can get hit by things like that, and it negates your speed and whatnot. But, wait, what was I doing? Wait, I'm missing one. No, I'm missing two. Okay, last two. Now we have Big Thwomp or whatever his name is. Come on. Fuck, um. Okay. Oh. Because I do it like that because I don't know how to do the speedrunner way, and I've tried it and I've always gotten squished. And here we go. Here you get to see it very far out. Wait, why don't I just do this? You, uh, um, it cut. Usually, I don't do that. Apparently, you can just do this. And of course, now we get all those stars. And now we have 16 stars. So... What I don't like is I have to go through that one twice, basically. But now, to show off the wing cap. S see the lines? Just like the uh, Mario 64 ad. Um, oh, you saw nothing? I, I got that red coin. I got, see? Oh, must have glitched because I clearly got all eight. Okay, I figured out how to fix the glitch. But, um, now I got the, uh, cap, and now I got the star for the cap. Here we go. Well, this is great. A great game, in my opinion. And... With the capture, I, re I recommend if you want to play this level to capture the baby penguin and have the capture option on. Um, but to get all the coins, what I do is I go up to this penguin, don't race with them because it makes it harder for me, and just collect the coins. Or at least try to collect all the coins. So I don't mess up. Oh god. I almost fell. I mean, that was planned out. That, that was part of the plan. Is to psych you guys out. Make you think I was about to fall off. 
Wow. Ah. Now I got this star, first star so far. So far it's the first star, so. And since I have the infinite cappy jumps like every pro Mario 64 player would have, I don't need this stupid pink bob bomb to open that for me. I have Cappy, or I have a magic cap, or a magic top hat, if you're a uh, hat girl, I guess. But then I need to get all these coins. And it's, this part's very easy when you play it with hat girl from Hat in Time, because you you can throw your, your hat, I mean, that may be the Odyssey mod, but you can throw your hat and bounce on it infinite times. So, it's so much easier, you don't have to aim for the tree. Uh, next one, I'll do is the baby penguin actually no the next one is gonna be very easy for me because the next one's gonna be the 100 coin star apparently because I got all 100 coins that I needed for that star you know what else I'll do I'll go over here and get this red coin because I think I already yeah I already got this coin but what's really interesting is you can just keep going, 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 go, going, going, going. <sighs> whoa, whoa, hold on, I'm playing a game. Um, yes. So. You can just keep going up and up the normal way. Uh, well, not the normal way. I guess this isn't really the normal way. But usually you can capture that penguin and you'll be fine, but. But if you don't have capture on, I recommend not doing that. Don't do that. That's what you're not supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is um what is it you're supposed to do? Oh yeah, you're supposed to go down this way. Um and since you just have the baby penguin, it doesn't really matter which way you go. You can just jump off into the snow because all that happens is you take shock damage or fall damage. What? Uh, I don't even know the word I'm trying to say. You just get a little stunned from the fall. And, and that's also what you're not supposed to do. Cut. cut. I, I didn't mean to do that. So basically, this penguin, his origin story is he got peed on. So he ran away from his mother because his mother laughed at him. But he didn't understand that his mom really loved him and now thinks she's lost. And that's why he cries all the time. It's because he was peed on and doesn't feel accepted by his mother. When really in reality he is accepted by his mother no matter if he has pee on him or not. Um, and you can go and get this star now. And, um, now we have to get the red coins that we got before. Because the mama penguin took them from me because I dropped her child into the ravine or into the abyss. But she doesn't really know if that was her child. She just assumed since I had it and was going that way. 
And, uh, this- another thing you're not supposed to do is go that way. So, what we need to do, uh, we don't need to bring the penguin back to its mother since we already got that star. It would be nice to, but you don't need to. Even though the mother would probably very much appreciate you to get her son back to her. But, uh, he got peed on again, the mother laughed, she- she can't help it, she can't help it, you know, it's- It's one of those things where a human just comes up to you, you get peed on, and your mother laughs. It's- it's normal, but he's very young, so he doesn't really know that it's normal to get laughed at by your parental guardian, even if it's your only parental guardian. Um, makes you feel kind of ashamed that it happens. I mean, it nev never happened to me, but I'm pretty sure it feels, it makes you feel ashamed of yourself. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, the red coins. So, see the shock damage. You, it takes a lot less time than Mario 6, well, regular Mario 64 to get out of the snow than it is to just take a, sh a shock, you know? And, oh wait, wait, there's other oh yeah, the fucking, the penguin that I have to race. But what are the other two? Why can't I remember what the other two were? Oh yeah, the snowman's head. Snowman's head, and what else? What was the other one? This is not a joke. I actually can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got all the red coins. Okay, yeah. So the snowman's head and the race. That's all I needed to do. Now. I recommend that if you do play this game that you have an Xbox controller because the buttons make it so much easier to do these kind of techniques. And uh, that that is called the snow buffer, I think. Oh no, um, that, that was on purpose. Um, of course now I'm probably not gonna be able to do it because I, I'm, I, I meant to do that, but I don't think it'll work. Oh, it worked. Okay, I meant to do that. I meant to fall down like that. Because it brought me over to the head faster, which made the body see me. Uh, yeah, I don't understand how that works, how the body can see you if it doesn't have eyes, but it... It's one of those things, you know, don't question it kind of deal, you know? Like, why do you have pee on you? And your mom's laughing at you, but... Looks like he got cleaned up. Don't know with what, maybe soap? I don't know. Maybe I'm the one peeing on him. Maybe I'm not noticing I'm peeing on him. Hmm. That would be very weird. And too bad the hat tricks can't save me from having to race this guy normally. But I totally can beat him. And then that's the last star for this. It's a really fun race, if you know what to do at least. Which I at being a skilled Mario 64 speedrunner, even though that doesn't really apply here, is really, really easy. Well, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, leave a like maybe. Comment down below if you want to see maybe another one where I go through and play it like this. Subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Although I may not. I may not even if you want it, so it all depends how I feel.